Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Oh my god, Blade Masters are so much fun. In today's video, we're going to go through and tell you exactly what a Blade Master is. And we're going to go through and explain what skills you need to level up and what skills you need in order to fully unlock the, po uh, the potentials of a Blade Master. Later on, we will focus on how to gear the Blade Master since I am the number one Blade Master on Arcosar US001. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. And you'll be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on June 30th, 2021. The Blade Master is an amazingly fun class to play. You are the Flash. Have you seen the Flash? He runs so quickly. Every 15 seconds, Blade Master has a skill called Tiger Leap. When you press the tiger leap, you'll actually teleport forward five meters. Plus, for the next eight seconds, you have a 60% speed boost. Other, other classes like uh, Soul Hunter, they get uh, the speed boost, 60% speed boost for three seconds, not eight seconds. Next, there is a skill called Flash Kick. Flash Kick does interrupt bosses, but the most important part about it is that if you like soccer, from now on, everyone is a soccer ball. And you can just, you can flash kick them. You will actually teleport to them and you will kick them and knock them back six meters. It is absolutely hilarious. So a lot of times what you can do is you can use the tiger leap to flash forward, get behind your enemy and flash kick your enemy back into your team. This is done in many games such as Lee Sin and League of Legends. You flash into the enemy, kick their uh, squishy characters into your team, which then quickly deletes that squishy character. The demon side of the Blade Master also allows you to up the flash kick can also have a 50% chance. At level 15, you can have a 50% chance to seal the enemy for three seconds. That is a very long time, a three second seal. That is so long. So a flash kick can knock them back into their team and they can't do anything to get out. They can't use a movement speed skill. They will be sealed. The next skill that a Blade Master has is a skill that reminds me of Scorpion's Get Over Here. And that's the Dragon Bash. He sends out some dragons up to 12 meters away and pulls his enemy towards him. There are different ways to combo using your Dragon Bash. After you pull them towards you 12 meters away, you can step behind them and then kick or you can pull them with Dragon Bash, then you can use Tiger Leap to teleport five meters behind them and then kick. This is a little bit faster so that your enemy doesn't have time to react and sort of move out of the way. So you can, you can either, you can either uh, Dragon Bash, which pulls them to you, step behind them and then Flash Kick, or you can Dragon Bash, and then you can uh, just Tiger Leap behind them and then Flash Kick. Now, there's other ways to use all of these skills. You can just simply pull them to you 12 meters away. That might be enough room to separate the enemy, one of your enemy squishies, and your team can just collapse on and destroy them. Maybe there's no need to use a Flash Kick. If you don't think that's enough crowd control, Blade Masters also have a skill called Pride Roar. It is an AOE up to 10 meters, which will stun the enemies for three seconds and then paralyze them for one whole second. So far, we've been talking about crowd control and how you can stun, paralyze, and seal your enemies. Now we're going to talk about the damage because Blade Masters can also do damage using the Drake Whirl. Drake Whirl is a skill that Blade Masters use to change to their spear line of skills. 
using the Demon Blade Master's Dared Spear skills are actually ranged, eight meters in range. And if they are, if your enemies anywhere from four meters up to eight meters away, they will take 20% extra damage. But when you use Drake Whirl for the next two seconds, you get 30% more speed so you can move in or you can kite away. Plus you get 10% more damage and 15% more crit rate for the next four seconds. After that, you will just release every single spear skill you have available. If the enemy gets too close to you and you need some distance, you can use your flash kick. Next, what you can do is you can actually switch back to Axe, and uh, that will be using Cleave. You use Cleave, you want to jump to your enemy, and then you will switch back to Axe, and then you can go ahead and change it up. You can use uh, you can use Kick again, you can Drake Bash him again, you can actually use a Flame Fan, which is an AoE skill, which is very nice for PvE situations or if you're in the middle of many enemies and then you can use Tiger Maw. What you may notice is that I don't talk much about Charge Bolt. Charge Bolt is one of those skills that kind of looks OP but will probably end up with you being dead. Okay, so this skill you will actually have an AoE and you will you actually lower their movement speed, lower their attack speed, lower their cast speed, and root the enemies. What you notice that it doesn't stun your enemies. And after one second, you yourself, you're also rooted. So for the next like three or five seconds, your enemies are going to be pounding on you. And you are going to be dead. So charge bolt is a pretty bad skill unless you're facing just one or two enemies and you have a team to back you up. The chi skill I recommend you use is called Solarity. It's great for PvP. What it does is gives you 12 seconds of 60% movement speed increase. 12 seconds of it. During that 12 seconds, you are immune to all control and restriction effects so you can't be stunned you can't be slowed you are just you you run unrestricted for 12 seconds that is absolutely amazing it does take 200 chi you couple that with tiger leap which gives you eight seconds of 60 percent movement speed and it is just incredible amount of time where you are 60 percent movement speed if you go ahead and add in a link as your main Numa card that's like 90% movement speed if they're able to hit you so it is absolutely insane so a lot of times people are going to focus you because you're the blade master because you're probably going to jump in or you're going to be in up front so that you're going to try to pull Drake bash some uh, somebody so that your team can kill them so you're probably one of their main targets now the thing is, is that if they do want to commit to chasing you, you can, you can potentially have 90% movement speed. And that's going to be pretty tough to catch. Now briefly, I'm going to talk about the Sage Blade Master. Sage Blade Master basically uses axes. And you, you barely use your spear at all. You use one spear skill and you automatically switch back to axes you are melee range you have no range at all so demon blade master you have eight meters of range now sage blade master you have no range and in order to increase like your attack speed your attack damage you have to keep normal attacking the boss all right so right now do you see me normal attacking the boss no you don't because i can't get to the freaking boss and once i get to the freaking boss i have to get out you see the assassin, like assassins the least, they can sub C that hit, right? They can sub C strike and they're invincible for that AOE and they're still doing damage. Instead, I have to run away. And whenever the boss decides to use a special attack, I am pretty much useless. Now I have talked to two or three Sage Blade Masters and they love the class, but they do admit that Demon Blade Master is better. They just like the play style. Of a, of, a, of a blade master that is all melee and you know I respect that so if this is what you want to do 
Go for it. You can be an all melee blade master because you know that's what that's what assassins do. They're that close. Demon barbarians, they're also that close. So it isn't horrible. But for my own play style, I like being a demon blade master because you can switch out of melee range and become and I'm like you can go into soul hunter range. It's basically soul hunter range. Whenever I go sage blade master, this is what I'm doing most of the time. It is me just spamming, trying to go back to Demon Blade Master because you do a whole lot more damage while you're constantly attacking the boss. If you're dodging, you're not doing any DPS. Here is the same boss, but as a Demon Blade Master. And as you can see, I can safely attack him from a very long range. I can safely dodge all of his attacks, his red circles, very easily. And eventually, I'll have to cut this boss. But right now, he is in rage. We're not doing enough DPS. We didn't bring enough DPS for this run. <laughs> Taking a little damage. Goblin helped me out a little bit. But continuing to... Uh, all right, so Tank died because he was a little too close. He was inside that AoE. Just me and a wizard. All right, so. All right. All right, just need to kite the boss a little bit. And as you're kiting, it's just so satisfying being a melee class that can also kite. You can still do, uh, your, your, your normal attacks are pretty fast. Not quite as fast as an archer, but so freaking satisfying. All right, let's go into the skills. Now, if you got the rare demon skill, Smack, it will allow your flash kick to seal your enemies for three seconds. That is super important. I put at least 10 points into it. Uh, the reason I'm not putting 15 points is because it costs pretty much like double as many points after 10. So I kind of want to conserve my points for uh for my later skills if you want to be sure if you want to seal them then yeah go ahead and put in go ahead and put in 15 points if you want but you're gonna be low on points elsewhere so just keep that in mind now uh if you don't have smack then i would put like 10 points in the drake whirl and if you want damage you can put 10 points in the ranger ranger just adds you know just basic attack damage frostbite you need to put at least one point in there what that would do is it will slow enemies when you're using uh far strike i believe yeah <clears throat> so i i'm just trying to put in 20 points into the first level so i can unlock the next level and then later on you will want to come back and add more points all right so drake world's damage i do like Let's put a, a little bit more slow time into the Frost Spike. Drake Bane is insane. Gives you 7.5% crit. Nowhere else can you get 7.5% crit. You're going to need the skill. You're going to plus 15 it. Absolutely insane. Moon Surge also increases the damage you, uh, you can deal. So that's very now. If you don't have Drake Bane, then what you would do, you would plus 10 Moon Cirque, plus 10 High Cleave. Both increases the damages of your skills. But right now, I'm just gonna put a little bit into it and then we're gonna unlock. All right, Drake Might. All right, so if you don't have Flash, now if you have Flash, you would put at least 10 points into Flash. And uh, I wish I had Flash, but I don't. I'm just gonna put in Drake Might, 10 points of Drake Might. Only one point in the Stormwell because you're not gonna be using Charge Bolt much. Also, Infernal Drake isn't a skill that I would recommend putting many points into, but I'm gonna just put in a few points in the Infernal Drake because it is okay for PvE. Sometimes can come into play for PvP, but most of the time you're gonna be using Celerity as your cheese skill. Which gives you an insane movement speed, plus you can't be slowed <laughs> or rooted or stuff. It's just such a great skill for PvP. 
I, I mainly focus for PvP, so my Inferno Drake, I'm gonna put a few points into it, but I feel like I'm gonna put some more points into Drake Might, even though it costs twice as many points. Just because uh, I, I'm gonna be using Drake Bash 24 seven. It's gonna, it's gonna be useful all the time. The number of times I'm gonna use Inferno Drake, I'll probably count on my fingers. Blade Ring is uh, your Comet Blast. Comet Blast is really strong damage, so you're gonna have to increase Blade Ring, Impulse. Impulse is crit rate. 15% crit rate for the next four seconds. That is insane. So you have seven and a half percent crit rate from Dragon's Bane. And then you have 15% from Impulse. Wow. And Blink, you want to put only one point into Blink. Far Strike is uh, deals a lot of damage too, so. Be sure to put some points into far strike and then full moon you want to put at least 10 points into full moon that will enhance your comet blast and uh, now we have some points left over i'm going to go ahead and up my blade ring up to 15. now if you don't have blade ring then you would just you know put 10 points into impulse 10 points into far strike and then once you have more once you have more points you can put you can up it to 15. Yeah, so, so basically I just go through and I just put in 10 points into pretty much every skill that I like. And then if you have extra points for the important skills, you can put, you can max them out into 15. However, do remember, cost pretty much twice as many points. So it has to, it has to be a really good skill. That's why I'm putting more points into Far Strike instead of Full Moon. Uh, because you know I don't have any points I just have to spread them out as well as I can high cleave you are going to be using cleave a lot cleave is amazing you can actually jump on your enemies from 20 meters away that is so far away and you can deal extra damage with high cleave so you're going to be using cleave a lot because you have to cycle back to axe use all your axe skills then dragon whirl back which will give you 15% crit for four seconds. All right, so you have to keep cycling in order to get those four seconds of 15% crit rate. All right, so I ran out of points, but later on when I get more points, definitely going to plus 10 high cleave, and I'm going to plus 10 Drake Whirl. All right, that's where my next points are going to be. I did forget to mention that the Sage Blade Master is good where the the buff the team buff your party buff is actually better as a sage blade master so you can swap to sage in the in the beginning of a hard dungeon give everyone more damage reduction so definitely swap to sage for uh for team buff other than that if you want to play melee class so close you might as well just go assassin assassin does more damage if you're that close you might just might as well go assassin now the origin, there is an origin rare skill. This is a Sky Shatter Spear. That's also really good. A ton of damage. So if you get this, you want to plus 15 this as well. But <clears throat> my advice to you is just ignore the Sage Tree for Blade Master. Just go all Demon because the Demon class allows you to have both melee and range. You are good both in PvP and PvE. It is it is it will save you gold sell all your sage skills so you can get more demon skills do you agree with me what do you think about blade master class i think the blade master class is super fun it's absolutely amazing your ability to run using like tiger leap you get 60 percent movement speed for so much of time that movement speed is addicting you're just 60 faster than everyone else like all the time it's so great in path of assure you get more chest and if someone's on a chest, you can just kick them away or you can pull them off the chest. It's really, really funny. Another thing is that the skills for Blade Masters are kind of, it's pretty cheap. It's a lot cheaper than other classes. There's so many great things about Blade Master. Be sure to try it out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.